Martin, talk us through the game today. Well, it's kind of been a bit of a familiar story. We started the game actually quite well. We were on the front foot. We were in, in their half quite a lot, a couple of decent half chances. Um, but with their first attack, they scored. And I think that's happened so many games, it feels like, um, here, especially at home in, in, for a number of weeks. Um, and, and then that, I think because it's happened so much, then the confidence just seems to drain away like so quick. Um, hung in there till half time, not too much happening in the game. Second half came out again looking decent, had a couple of decent chances, balls across the goal. And then, you know, one of their first uh, attacks to get a penalty. I couldn't really see if it was a penalty because the referee took a long time to make the decision. But certainly it was a killer blow because, you know, you lose that momentum again. And um, yeah, then huffed and puffed a little bit, but never really did enough to get back into the game. So yeah, it's really disappointing. I just think that, you know, we've not really been able to get a real see an, a big improvement you know we, we were expecting that I think we saw some in the beginning but was just been so inconsistent and I think whenever we've played a team above us we've we've struggled this season I don't think we've we've beaten a team above us which is really crazy but that that is how I think that's a, a stat or a fact as far as I know so yeah they're really disappointing and just just not enough uh, quality in the final third not enough energy in, in the team and again, when we lose when we lose a goal, it seems like it really takes too much out of us. You know, you're going to lose a goal. Sometimes you need to react in the right way. Um, whereas when we seem to score first, then we, we look like a different team. So it's it's almost like a race for that first goal. We need to make sure we're getting it, but we didn't today. One of the things you said there was um, the reaction. You were looking for a reaction. Unfortunately, you didn't get it. Is is that perhaps the most disappointing bit of the afternoon? Yeah, I think so. I think that you know, whenever if you do lose a goal, then you you, you obviously want a positive reaction. That's that's of course the case. Um, but I also think it's happened so so many times this season that that it gets in people's head. It's no, you know, you're trying to help, you know, that side of it. But it seems like whenever we're we're doing well and we lose a goal, it, it really impacts us a lot more than it should. And and that that seemed to be the case today. Not a nice one, I'm afraid, but a lot of the fans were, were shouting, we have to ask, hope you understand, but a lot of the fans were shouting saying they felt we were outfought today. Mm -hmm. what, what would you say with that in, in terms of the, like the, the character being shown by the players? Yeah, I don't think that, and I understand why, why they're saying that. I think towards the end of the game, the game gets open and it, it, you know, it's very flat, you're losing 3-0, it's, it's, it's very hard at that point. I don't think the players came out um, with a lack of fight. I think that we started off... You know both halves with plenty of fight, but I do I do think that it looks like that when we lose a goal. It looks like that, and I think that's honest, honestly more to do with confidence than a desire to do well. But I think the players want to do well. I think they're very committed, but but they do seem to be lacking or, or a little bit of confidence when we do lose a goal. Is there any way that that can be addressed at the moment, or is that something really that it can only really be changed in the summer? Uh, well, it's something you definitely can change, and it's something we are trying to change. We've seen it in quite a lot of games where we've come out and, and managed to, you know, get get that first goal or, or win the game, or, or games where I think where we have lost a goal but come back quite well. At least I remember Queens Park being one that sticks in my mind. Um, but it's definitely something that we have done. There's games where we have done it, but there's some games that we haven't. And every time we don't, we, we it sticks in the mind a little bit more. Callum Morrison back uh, in the squad today. Uh, is that him back in full training now? Yeah, yeah, so hopefully he'll be back in contention. Obviously we've missed him over quite an important period of time. Um, and But yeah, he's, he's, he's back in training now and good to get him back today. The one absentee that we noticed was still Anton Dowds. Can you give the fans any update in terms of a, a timeline for him? He's, he's um, doing a bit more training now, uh, on, but should be back with the team hopefully this week, so could be in contention next week. Um, yeah, Jevin Mills and, and Paul Watson obviously are two centre backs that have been playing and you know doing quite well there, starting to build a bit of a partnership. We've lost both of them this week, so hopefully um, we'll get some good news on them. But it, it does impact you a little bit when you get injuries, but everybody gets those. And um, I think for us right now, you need all the positive momentum you can get. So any little negative thing like that does seem to affect us more than it more than it should. And just finally, it's going to be a, another tough game next week. Obviously, Cove Rangers coming to town. Um, how do you go about picking the guys up ahead of that one? Yeah, I mean, I, th I feel like we've been picking them up, you know, quite a lot, and we, we have to do that again. I think that we have to just, you know, focus on the things that that, that need to be done better in the game. Obviously, Cove are a good team and on good form, um, but Montrose showed showed they're a good team today as well, and uh, we need to make sure that we bounce back well. We need to come in on Monday with a, 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 a willingness to fight and an eagerness to get it to make it better. Here's hoping. Martin, as right. always, thanks for your time. Thank you.